Hi everyone, it's Corrine. I know I always talk to you about the importance of watering your orchid plant properly, and we've done videos in the past about watering, but today I really wanna focus on overwatering. It's especially important with your young plants because they have a less robust root system. It's easy to show you a video of our plants when everything is fine and great, but I think we can all learn more when things don't go exactly as planned. We had a wet and rainy spring this year. Let me show you what happened to some of our young Cattleya plants. I wanna show you the effects of overwatering, which is just really not letting the media dry out completely. Orchid plants are not like house plants where you can see death right away. It can take a few months to show effects and it all starts at the roots. Take a look at these plants here. They look pretty decent. They're green, but the leaves are starting to wrinkle. And this plant is even wobbly in the pot. At first glance, most people would think, oh no, I'm not watering enough. But if you've been watering it once a week and the media is still damp, it's probably not the case. Let me show you. So if you have a plant that's showing effects of overwatering, but you still see that there are roots coming out from the top, what you wanna do is to cut back the watering. You almost don't need to water in the typical way at all because there are no roots underneath to absorb. What you wanna do is to miss the leaves and the tiny roots that are coming out at the top. You wanna miss every few days and do this for a few months. Recovery will take time and patience. As in this one here, its older leaf, when it was younger, was struggling. But over time, the new roots are coming out from the top and a new shoot is forming. The leaves, the, the newer leaves are very firm and look great. The biggest takeaway for us is to really pay attention to the weather conditions. While we don't have any control over mother nature, it's always better to err on the side of less water. Checking the media is the best way to gauge because it's always easier to bring a plant back from too little water than from overwatering and having no roots. Pay attention to the environment. Has it rained for a whole month straight? If so, you might wanna cut back on the watering. Spacing and ventilation is key so that there's air circulating around the media. The media should never be constantly soggy, especially with cattleyas at this young stage. Once the plants get older, their roots are larger and can handle a slightly more wet environment because they've established themselves and have many more roots than a younger plant. I hope our challenges with wet weather this spring has helped you learn a little bit more about how to care for your orchids. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.